Hi everybody, welcome to you in the channel of Engineer Rifat Khatr for Voltar Extension. Today we are going to talk about coccidiosis disease and chickens, which affects the chicks at the age of three weeks, causing high mortality in growing chicks. Also, it affects adult chickens, causing a drop in egg production from 10 to 40%. This video contains the etiology, incubation period, transmission, clinical signs, gross lesions, prevention, and the treatment methods. Etiology Coccidiosis is caused by a protozoan coccidial parasite which parasitizes the digestive tract of chickens, causing hemorrhage in the internal surface of intestine. There are Nine different species of Imeria which cause coccidia in chickens. The following five species are the most important species which affect broilers, chicks, layers, and breeders. 1. Imeria tenella, which affect cecum. 2. Imeria cervolina, which affect dodinon. 3. Imeria nicatrix, which affect small intestine, especially middle portion. 4. Imeria pronetti which affects small intestine, especially lower portion. 5. Imeria maxima, which affect most small intestine. Transmission. Infection with coccidiosis occur if birds eat sporulated oocysts, which are secreted with droppings. Infection is transmitted by the root of feed, drinking water, shoes of workers, Equipments and litter contaminated with the chicken's droppings containing sporulated oocysts. Coccidiosis disease don't affect the chicks before two weeks of age because the litter is new and dry and the moisture of house is low. But the clinical signs appear at the age of three weeks if we don't use the suitable prevention program. Clinical signs. Infected birds are listless, show a lack of appetite, and have pale combs, ruffled feathers, hanging down wings, and bloody or brown droppings. Mortality ratio in affected chicks arrive to 5 to 50 percent according to infection severity and disease period. In adult birds, egg production decreases to 10 to 40 percent according to infection severity. Incubation period. It arrives to four to seven days. Gross lesions. Gross lesions differ according to causative imeria species. Coccidiosis can be divided into two groups. A. Cecal coccidiosis. It is caused by imeria tenella. Cecum is full of red blood. In case of late infection, blood is clotting and become darkened red color or brown. Cecal walls are sickened. B. Small intestinal coccidiosis. Small intestine is infected by Imeria cervolina, which infects Dodina, Imeria nicatrix, Imeria pronetti, and Imeria maxima, which infect the other parts of small intestine. Imeria cervolina is the most dangerous Imeria species, which infect dodinum in layers. Mucus membrane of dodinum is inflamed and thickened and have gray or whitish patches. Imeria nicatrix is the most dangerous Imeria species, which infect small intestine, especially the middle portion. There are some inflammations in the cecum. The intestine is dilated and filled with mucus mixed with fresh or clotted blood. Also, red spots are seen on the external surface of intestine. Imeria pronetti infects the lower portion of small intestine and rectum. The infected portion is seen enlarged and covered with fibrinous membrane. Imeria maxima. Infects the majority of small intestine, causing inflammation in it. The color of small intestine change to light red. Prevention 
We should carry out the following procedures. One, general preventive procedures. One, avoiding multi edges in the same farm. Two, disinfecting houses floors before housing the new chicks with disinfectant able to dissolve the sporulated oocysts of Vimeria. Three, don't permit to visitors to enter chicks houses. Four, Maintaining later dryness and reducing moisture ratio in the house as follow. Turning over later periodically, especially in winter. Avoiding purse crowdness in poultry houses. Ventilation should be good in poultry houses by the root of windows in open houses and fans in closed houses. Mixing the litter with limestone to keep it dry and removing wet litter, especially under drinkers. 2. Forming immunity against coccidiosis by using coccidiostats. A. Using coccidiostats in broiler feeds. We should add coccidiostats to feeds of broilers flock from day old to marketing age to prevent the chicks infection with coccidiosis, which has bad effect on the gross. Therefore, Coxidiostats used in broiler feeds must be able to kill the early phases of Imeria, such as elancopan, amprolium, psychostat, and etc. B. Using coxidiostats in replacement flocks feed. Preventive programs of replacement flocks against coxidiosis depend on chicks' exposure to weak and repeated infections besides to one of coccidiostats at the same time to stop imeria multiplication in the intestine for forming immunity against coccidiosis. Therefore, we must add the suitable coccidiostats from day old until 14 to 16 weeks of age, such as Amprol Plus and Necrobazine. C. Vaccinating chicks with live vaccine of coccidiosis at the age of 5 to 7 days for giving chicks early immunity against imeria, but this vaccine is not desirable in Egypt. Treatment Although carrying out the preventive procedures, clinical signs of coccidiosis may appear. Therefore, chicks must be treated by using any one of the following medicines and drinking water. 1. Amprolium 20% by the rate of 1.2 gram per liter plus vitamin K3 5 mg per pet for 3 to 5 days. Or sulfa quinoxaline or sulfa dimidine by the rate of 1 gram per liter plus vitamin K3 5 mg per pet for 3 days. Because of bad effect of sulfur compounds on chicks' kidneys, it is preferable using mixture of amprolium with sulfur to minimize the bad effect of sulfur on kidneys. So we can use amprolium 20% by the rate of 0.6 gram per liter plus sulfur quinoxaline or sulfur dimidine by the rate of 0.6 gram per liter plus vitamin K3 by the rate of 5 mg per pair for 3 to 5 days. Warning: We should stop using vitamin P complex during the infection with coccidiosis and a treatment period because vitamin B activates imeria multiplication in the small intestine. Finally, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press subscribe, like and share. If you have any inquiry related to this video, please comment and I'll reply with suitable answers. I'll see you in the next video.